слушайте антифлоу, слушайте антифлоу, слушайте антифлоу, слушайте антифлоу, радио, 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 Probably guys who can do what you never imagined before that it can happen, but it's happening. It can change your mood, it can give you the base fanatic moments that you never expected before. Just keep rocked to Radio Hard Life. Listen to Radio Hard Life. The only one, number one, probably the base guys whom you can't imitate. You can't imagine them splashing off on the deck saying, quick, 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 quick. It's a strange voice listening. Keep rock to Radio High Life. Number one, DJs. Listen on. <laughs>
and uh, I was introduced uh, into the music industry by the late, who was referred to as the grandfather of singers in Uganda, it's called now the late Christopher Sebaduha. So he who introduced me into the music industry and I started it off right here from the National Theatre. The style of music here in Uganda is referred to as Kadongo Kamu. Kadongo Kamu literally means that uh, one guitar. So during then we used to have uh, one guitar. You just play it as a, a solo artist. You play, you, you voice as, as you play your single guitar. It's uh, like the same thing with uh, the baskers. You like baskers. So, and, but then later on as time went by, then started adding in more instruments like the bass, the drums. Uh, yes, it's now we're playing like a band. Uh, this just came about because of the involvement in the, the music industry, you know, the evolution, and uh, just to add in more kind of vibe into the, the, the whole music. But uh, one thing, the condition was that uh, if you have to be an artist of this category, it was like you must know your guitar to play the guitar yourself. And uh, the guitar was very, very instrumental in writing, uh, in writing and composing uh, songs for themselves. So, in, in other words, it was really hard to do their music without the knowledge of the guitar. Yes, well, this kind of music, uh, uh, I do. It's best from the central region, uh, which is the Uganda region, where the majority uh, is the majority ethnic group. So uh, it's based on the Uganda or central traditions and the rhythms and the sounds. Probably. But however, in other regions, apart from the central regions, they are where there've been also such kind of musicians there. Plays are put there. When he started during then, there was no any recording company here. And the seventies, they all had to go up to Kenya. Uh, that's in Nairobi or Kericho, uh, to be specific. And uh, they used to record uh, on uh, those the vinyl, this kind of this discs. Uh, that's where they used to record their uh, songs. Like on the on one side, they say two songs or two tracks, and then on the other side, two tracks. So that's where they oh one oh single single yes.
this little guys take everyone different stones and make some sound it was magical
Let's 